Yes. Good morning, teacher Jonathan. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher Jonathan. So today I want us to learn about compound interest. About what? Compound interest. Yeah. I will show you two methods of working on compound interest. So, yes. can you read the question? A man deposited 50,000 shillings in a bank for, for two years. years. The bank paid compound interest at the rate of 10% per annum. How much money was in his account at the end of two years? Yeah. So the first thing is to extract the important things. You know something called principle. What is principle, somebody? It is the money deposited or money you borrowed. So, sir, so the money deposited was what? 50,000. But it's the initial money that he kept in the bank, right? And then two years, what do we call two years? That's Mathematics, that is the time. The time the money stayed in the bank is two years. Then uh, the bank paid interest at the rate of 10%. The rate was 10% per annum. What does per annum mean? Somebody, yes? Per year, very good. So when you're working out compound interest, we work out every year separately. We work out every year what? Separately. So I will write here the first year. The first year. You're going to get the interest for the first year, and we also get the interest for the second year, right? So the first thing we need for the, to get is the interest for the first year, and I will call it interest one. What will I call it? Interest one. Meaning? Loudly. Interest for? The first year. It is called what? Interest one. Just like in simple interest, we say interest equals what? Principal. Principal times rate of 100 times time. But here we will not say times t. So sir? Because we have agreed we are going to work for the first year alone. So here I will write one, which represents the first year. Which represents what? The first year. And this principle I also put it one to mean the first principle, the first amount of money that he kept in the bank. Right? Right. Right? right. right. So we have interest one equals to principle one times rate of a hundred times one. Let's go. Interest one is equal to principal one times rate of a hundred times one. And this interest one means the interest for the first year. This three one means the principal for the first year. Yeah. The last one means what? The first, the first year. year. The first what? Yeah. So I get here now fifty thousand, just like we do in a simple interest, right? right. Times what is the rate? Twenty percent times. One, right? Right. You get what? Five thousand times. We get what? Five thousand. What does this five thousand represent? The first year. The interest for the first year. The interest for the first what? Yeah. Interest for the first year. Interest for the first year, right? Now I want us to go to the second year. The second what? Year. The second year. I want us to go to the second one. Yeah. yeah. So that I show what is going to happen. Just listen like this. I get this one. We now come to the second year. And for the second year, we are going to start with something called principle two. Who can tell me what principle two will mean? Principle for the second one. Yeah. yeah. And this will be made up of the first principle you started with plus the first interest we have got. The first interest we have got, got interest one, right? Right. So what was the, 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 the principle, the money you started with? 50,000 plus the interest we got what? 5,000. So the second year he is starting with a principle of 55,000. 55, I hope you are following class. Mathematics is sweet, right? right? Now we come to the interest for the second year. Can somebody try to analyze and tell us what is the interest for the second year? Just like we did in the first year, what do you think we shall do? Principal for the second year, a clap for that. Mm -hmm. 
another clap for her. Times the second year. So what will I write for the second year? One. I will write one. A clap for Shishi. Yeah, yeah man. Very good. Are we together? Yeah. So now I get this one is the same as I get the new principal. The principal has changed, right? Yeah. We have added the interest to the principal of the past year, right? Yeah. So it becomes fifty-five thousand. It becomes what? Fifty-five thousand times ten percent times. One. Remember what this one represents? It represents what? The second year, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So we come here and say it is the same as what? 550 times 10. 5,500. It becomes 5,000. 5,500. 5,500. Are we together? Yeah. This is the interest for the second year. This is the interest for the what? Second, second year. year. Now let's read the question, the last statement. How much money was in his account at the end of two years? When you asked how much money was in his account, the question is asking what we call what? The total. That name is we given the name amount. That is called what? Amount. That is called what? Amount. And the man amount. What do we get amount? Who knows what we get amount? Amount generally, how do we get amount? Like in simple interest, how do we get amount? Principal plus interest. Principal plus interest. Then in compound interest, we are going to get, we can get the first principal that we have deposited with, it was 50,000, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then we add the two interest, interest one and interest two. two. The, the interest for the first year and the interest for the second yeah. year, right? So with this is one way we can get the, the amount that the total money has. We get 50,000, right? Right. right? right. Plus, what was the interest for the first year? 5,000. Five what was the interest for the second year? 5,500. Five right? right? Put that together and tell me what you get. Get what? Sixty thousand five hundred. What do you get? Sixty thousand five hundred. Sixty thousand five hundred. Right. The same, same, same question. If I wanted amount again, there's another way I could have done. How would I have got amount again here? We can pick a half of it. Also, got amount. The same answer. Let's see how we can get the same, same amount. Eddie, I think you can try. Yes. Okay, look at the last principle. What was the last principle? 5,500, isn't it? The, the last principle was what? 55,000. What was the last interest? 5,500, isn't it? So we get the last principle plus the last what? Plus the last what? Interest. The last principle is represented by P2 and the last interest is represented by what? Interest two. I'm writing this because you can have a question which is going up to three years, right? Yeah, are you understanding me? So we get the last principle which was what? Uh, Fifty-five thousand. We add the last interest which was what? Five thousand five hundred. Let's see whether we get the same answer. Zero, zero, five, zero, six. Are you getting the same answer? Yes. Yeah, clap for me. I mean, I've understood.